morning, folks. Morning, folks, up and running. Just bear with me, usual kind of scramble at the start. Get my mic on me properly as well in a second. Look at this view we have here now. What about that, eh? Live at Bristol Airport, this is Plaincaster. Good morning to you. Bit of an echo there. To deal with that in a second. And as these planes take off, the most amazing moonshot as well. Which I'm hoping you'll see here. Zoom out a little bit so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. There it is. Right. Quick adjustment here from the uh, sound to avoid the echo. Let's try that. Just gonna, just gonna clip myself on here, folks. Got a different microphone today. Which means when I walk off with it still on, that will be highly hilarious for all concerned. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to Plaincaster. We're live from Bristol Airport this morning for the next two or three hours. Daryl Mox is with us, the first to say hi on the chat, and a very good morning to you, Daryl. Hope everything is good with you. So last time I was here, I found this uh, more vantageous shot. And it feels like um, very, very close to the action. Let me just do that. When it comes to uh, seeing what's going on in the rest of the airfield, you'll see what I mean. In fact, while that plane is waiting, here is the view now we have much more unencumbered across the airfield. Right now, though, Jet 2 is on the roll. definitely see some crosswind there as soon as they're lifting off the runway. A bit of turning back on course there. I mean, look at the shots we're afforded here. Practically see in the uh, in the compartment. So as you can see there, a Neo to go next in terms of uh, the rest of the airfield. It's emptying out now, had a couple of technical problems, otherwise we would have uh, been bringing you our pictures from the airport a little bit earlier today, so I apologise for that, but it's uh, nature of streaming. There's another Neo there. A couple of Ryanairs and a uh, Tui Max. And another easy jet making its way out here, which is parked a little bit further down. So plenty to uh, depart here, and I'm sure we've got some arrivals. We'll uh, get on the case with that and let you know accordingly. R23 bets, cracking location this morning. It's about time, isn't it, R23? <laughs> Thank you very much for your kind comments. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it, uh, it has taken a little bit of time. Uh, for some reason, I didn't walk further down the field, and I and I feel a bit of like a a twit, to be honest. But there we are. <laughs> a lesson learned. 
a good lesson. Might have a little gap in a second, just to nerd out and zoom in on the moon because it's looking absolutely amazing. Actually, it's just gone beyond a cloud, so that's not helpful, is it? Or to be more accurate, the cloud has gone in front of the moon, which was just above the right to the right of the plane there. Never mind. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. Right, look, let's see what's going on here. The plane just departed is off to Venice, lucky passengers. The one turning onto the runway that you're looking at right now is off to Barcelona, also lucky. Echo Zulu Uniform Oscar is the registration of that one, it's an A320 CEO, <laughs> EO even, I apologise. And uh, that will begin its roll very, very shortly. I'm just slightly tied up with my uh, mic here folks, so I'm just going to move it. foresee a nasty accident if I don't uh, fix this. I suppose with these departure rolls it does afford me a little bit more laziness because I just leave the camera there until, until I lift off. <laughs> yeah, this is a fab spot though. This is just absolutely lovely down on Felton Common. It's open to anybody. Barcelona, here we come. One waiting. It is, of course, the morning rush. Now, that is very interesting. The runway lights here have just gone off. Now, what does that mean? That would be really interesting if it meant a runway change. Just taking a quick look at the weather. I must say the wind is fairly benign. It's very interesting. So the weather is, uh, the wind is coming directly across the runway. It's uh, not much wind. It's forecast to get uh, quite blowy later. Uh, we have a direct 90 degree to the runway crosswind. Uh, it will be a northerly, so um, that will be very interesting. But just then the runway lights dipped off. So I don't know if that means we can expect arrivals from the opposite direction. I will um, I think that will be made quite clear soon but uh, fortunately we're in a great position here for operations in either direction. should be jetting off about this time from Gatwick next week. Looking forward to that on a 2E737 to southern Italy.
much better views over the airfield from this spot, not so much hedgery in the way. You can sort of zoom in and see what's going on down there. There's anything above us as well, I'll try and catch it for you, although there's a little bit of cloud cover, wispiness. If you're in the airport and uh, caught us this morning, then come say hi. Tell us where you're off to, and uh, we'll make sure we give you a mention as you leave. In terms of arrivals this morning, um, we've got uh, quite a bit happening from 7.50, well, I said about four, four arrivals, and then um, uh, a bit of a gap, but uh, there'll be some more departures in there to fill out the gaps. Let's uh, bring that up on the screen for you now. Last Friday, we were in, uh, Thursday, sorry, we were in um, Stansted, weren't we? And I was impressed at the, uh, the faith, the, uh, the, the, the enthusiasm shown by this device, the equivalent at uh, Stansted. All it does, it's got one job, goes round and round and it does it well. You've got to admire that, haven't you? You've got to admire that. Never complains, look. I can't see any runway lights ahead of me at all, so I am pretty convinced that we've had a runway direction change. And that is very nice. Well, we've got a second. Let's bring you some beautiful sights across the uh, Bristol countryside this morning. Beautiful sunrise. Sheila M. Good morning, Danny, and everyone. Good morning to you, Sheila. Sun's looking pretty beautiful this morning. As is Felton Common. I mean, look at this. Beautiful, peaceful. A little bit more peaceful than London City was Friday last week. We didn't mind that though. And uh, just look at this stunning countryside. Absolutely beautiful. The uh, big aerials on top of Dundry Hill that you uh, definitely see out the um, right hand side if you're landing or your left if you're taking off. I can hear planes but I can't see them. Right, let's bring that back around.
So as you can see, the runway lights have gone off. So I think we have a runway change. But in terms of, um, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of uh, landings from zero nine, we didn't really have best angle. But I think as they're coming towards us, and especially the takeoffs, that will be amazing. So another jet two on its way out. Bristol to Palma de Mallorca. It's uh, Juliet Zulu, Bravo Sierra, the registration of that one. Oh, I'm getting so mixed up with my wires here. Sorry for the rustling, folks. Tripping over everything. Right. Trying out a different mic today, um, which means I'm wired to the uh, camera. Which means if I walk off, the whole lot's going to come with me. I wouldn't rule out that happening because uh, I am pretty damn absent-minded, it has to be said. But I hope it's coming across well. I'd like to uh, tell you it was a planned move, but it wasn't. I've managed to leave the other microphone at home, which is pretty careless. Very scenic, says Sheila M. Yeah, absolutely. It's wonderful. Uh, bonging around with Chris A380 overhead. Right. I wish I could see it. Absolutely cannot see a thing up above us. Um, Chris is a, unless it's right over there, unless it's right over there, that's the only thing I can really see trail wise at the moment. And that's it, that is an A380, isn't it? No. Oh, let me know if that's it, Chris. I can only see two trails out there. That's kind of going to the uh, southeast direction. That's the only one I can see at the moment, I'm afraid. Thank you for the heads up though. Keep them coming. More locally. Looks like the EasyJet's gonna win the uh, battle to go first. The uh, EasyJet is off to Nice. Echo Zulu, Tango Lima, it's a CEO A320. Current engine option. Or just what you're used to all the time, maybe. Now, in terms of a runway change, everything is still taking off in, um, in this direction. But um, when the wind is pretty benign, it doesn't really make a great deal of difference, I guess. Or even when the crosswind is just coming straight adjacent to the runway. Is that the word I'm looking for? Directly across it, then I guess it doesn't matter which direction you take off. You just go in the uh, direction which is advantageous for your journey, I guess. Who's that front row in there? I can't quite see, can't quite see. Anyway, this will be your next departure to Nice. That was a lifty A350, right? I, yeah, absolutely. So that was it. That was a good catch, but um, not the catch you said. Morning. A runner just goes past wondering why on earth I'm talking to myself. Right. Oh, there we are. See, walking off in the microphone, that's what that noise is. Nearly took the camera with me. Told you it would happen. So the road just in front of us is the A38. You're probably not used to seeing traffic on these on this stream because we're not normally in this position.
gutted about the uh, clouds coming across the moon there. That was a song from the 80s. Anybody remember that? Clouds Across the Moon by the Ra Band? What a tune. You're on an example of 80s? That is 80s. Let's uh, have a quick look at this Jet 2 while we've got it side onto us here. Quick look in the cockpit up front, see how we're doing. All good. These lovely people off to Palma de Mallorca. Seven three seven eight hundred. I should be on one of these in one week's time. We'll be in well, no delays. Um, via Tui from Gatwick. Bit of the a touch of the morning golden hour going on now as the sun just. Uh, starts to make its way a little bit higher in the sky behind us. Thank you very much bongering around with Chris do that. That would be great. I would love to um it's it's hard actually just to keep your eyes on everything. Although I think it's going to quieten down here in a moment so we might have a little bit more time to do that. But uh, much appreciated. Thank you. We do have a uh, 737-800 on its way to Cardiff that's come from Gatwick this morning. Not a particularly challenging <laughs> long flight. Uh, that's now coming to the south of... Um, sorry, turning, so it's going south, but to the east of Bristol Airport. If we catch that, we will. It's uh, currently at uh, just 12,000 feet or so. skies where you can see blue sky but it's not as blue sky clear as you might think <coughs> excuse me the 737 protests but finally leaves the runway <laughs> and speaking of 737s got another one for you from the same company. These folks are off to Maon, Maon. Uh, to your north, a Ryanair 737 and Lufty A340, that would be a great catch. That's to the north, okay, thank you very much. That's, uh, I am keeping my eyes open, I assure you. Ah, right, hold on. I hope you don't mind, folks. There, there she is, there she is. Brilliant intelligence uh, from you there telling us about these things in advance. Really appreciate that. How beautiful. Right, thanks. Let's just try and get down there and get you a bit, a bit more of this. It's amazing when you see the plane in the, uh, in the cruise or top of descent like that, just flying so beautifully majestically through the sky. There's your uh, zoomed out context on that one. Let's go back to this departure. Thank you very much for that one. Departure to Mahon in Mallorca. Or is it just Mount On? I can't remember. I think the H is silent, is it in Spanish? 
This one looking a little bit more enthusiastic about taking off than the previous one to Nice. something incredibly calming about that type of shot. Let's uh, show you our beautiful sunrise here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. You're not missing anything behind me, don't worry. Right, so just um, bear with me one second, I'm just... Right, okay. Inbound from AGP, which is Malaga, of course, and that's the Ryanair. Um, and that looks like it is going to come around and land in the direction we're looking now. Um, so it wasn't a runway change. Maybe they've just turned down the intensity or... To, I don't know. I can't even explain that. Apologies if the uh, picture is going shaky for a bit. I'm hoping it recovers okay. We've got a much better connectivity here now. Let's uh, zoom back round. Let's have a bit of action up here for you now. And we'll just move this. I don't get dazzled by the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My apologies. Hey, this is a weird cross-link to um, share with you folks. I know some of you are watching from around here, maybe from South Wales, from the Bristol area. If you are remotely interested in running, the Cardiff Half Marathon is on tomorrow. Um, it uh, starts about uh, 10, I think. Um, and uh, it used to be televised, and uh, the BBC don't televise it anymore. Um, possibly there'll be a highlights from one of, excuse me, one of the channels, like Channel, Channel 4, S4C, but they don't carry any live coverage of it. So we've decided to do an unofficial live stream tomorrow. It won't be on the Plaincaster channel. Oh, look at that, there's a shot for you. It won't be on the Plaincaster channel, but it will be on a channel called Cardiff Dave, uh, Cardiff underscore Dave, I think. Um, so if you are remotely interested in watching that, and uh, we'll be at mile nine with our uh, unofficial live stream. So if you're remotely interested in watching that, you're very welcome to uh, join us on the Cardiff underscore Dave channel. Uh, be myself and uh, a few of the other Run Club members giving it uh, some commentary and pretending to know what we're talking about, basically. Much like I do here. Limited success. <laughs> Next, Singapore 777 and Virgin A330. Wow. It's all happening. Oh, look at that. This person here needs to put their shade up. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Whoops. 
Oh, knocking the camera over. Right, the uh, Neo here, whose uh, side you're looking at now, shortly to see its bottom, is off to Larnaca. It's an A321 actually, uh, Neo, and uh, it's off to Larnaca, which will be about, uh, what's that, about three and a quarter hours, I think. They're three hours ahead of us, this plane due to arrive at 1.45 local time. Um, it was due out at 7 this morning, having said that, so uh, maybe a little bit later in that. It's not a good start for EasyJet, is it, for this particular uh, line of journeys that are due to happen these days, uh, today, I should say. Sky definitely having more cloud coming over now, so um, we may struggle to see those trails. Next out is a Ryanair, you can hear that just making its way to the holding point at the end of the runway. Regular 737, but with the uh, extra bits on the uh, wings there for extra fuel efficiency. The new uh, split winglet, looking amazing actually. Pretty, uh, pretty good looking, aren't they? Right. Oops. Ryanair we're looking at now is on its way to Rizzo. Hopefully I've said that right. The uh, next departure is Alicante, which will be a two, uh, uh, another Ryanair, but it will be a 737 MAX 8200. Plus we definitely have an arrival on the way, which I'm keeping my eye open for. About four arrivals. Feel like you can definitely hear a Ryanair in a, a, like a, um, a Max engine starting up there. It's a very distinctive sound, isn't it? Just conscious I'm using up loads of space here, folks. I'm just moving some stuff in case anybody else wants to come and uh, do some spotting from this lovely point. We do have the inbound on the way actually, so this will be really interesting. I'm going to turn the camera very shortly for that. Let's just see the Ryanair lift off. Which of course it does with much grace. inbound first time at this spot I can guarantee you that when this comes over I'm going to be terrified because it's like feels like centimeters above my head <laughs> sorry about the Sun it may uh, it may affect this angle first thing in the morning but we'll um, we'll do our best it's gonna be a struggle probably for me just to find this at the moment there's a there's a kind of cloud cover that actually there it is there it is well below the cloud cover, I can't use that as an excuse. Hopefully. Plane you can see coming towards us at the moment. Just over Winford is the Malaga inbound. It's a 737-800 and it's a Ryanair service. And when it goes over our head this morning, it is going to make quite the racket. Enjoy this, folks. 
there's no way I'll be able to swing around quick enough to uh, catch it properly but uh, as, it, as it passes overhead but enjoy the noise won't you <laughs> See the uh, see the disturbance coming off the wings there. You can probably hear a bit of the uh, wake turbulence noise. That was glorious, wasn't it? It's <laughs> the first time I've um, filmed one at this angle on this particular camera equipment. Wow. So here's a lovely Max. You can definitely tell that from the uh, engine cowling. And those uh, winglets, which are actually slightly different, I believe, to the, the ones we saw on the previous plane. Right. That was something else, wasn't it? Good morning, Love Aviation. Welcome. If the cloud lifts, you'll have an Asiana 747 cargo pass just south of you in a few moments. Brilliant. Nothing, nothing immediately visible. But we'll uh, keep our eyes open this morning. Morning. Walkers out this morning, loving the uh, beautiful morning here on the common, and the odd bit of aviation to boot can't be bad. stuff. Lovely stuff. Another one coming in and you missed it folks. Sorry. I sense that might be the case. <laughs> Look at these moody skies with the sunrise and the sun low in the sky. Busy little spot here at Bristol. Air traffic control doing their most amazing job as ever, as like one in, one out, one in, one out. Absolutely fantastic spacing as ever. 
You'd expect nothing else, would you, from our wonderful air traffic control system here in the UK. The uh, 747 you spoke about, I think I can see the the, the rear of the trails, but uh, it's right by the sun now, I'm afraid. Thanks for trying. Uh, we will, uh, as the sky's hopefully clear, we'll definitely try and catch that uh, further. So the Ryanair had landed just before that one. Is uh, I think it's just pulled it. Yeah, there you go. You just see that one's just pulling in there. Keeping my eye on the skies. I think we've got some more arrivals as well. 34 of you um, on a very uh, crisp early morning here at Bristol Airport as the time approaches 7.55 are with Plaincaster. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let's have a look. So, Sheila M's loving that. Uh, coming over the top of us there. Good morning, watching from near Luton. I'm actually off to Luton today, in fact, Ben. Ben, are you flying or are you, are you going for a bit of a spotting trip? Um, oh, 23 bets. That was brilliant. Uh, hi, Sheila M. Hope you're well. Morning, Ben. A little bit of chow there. Brilliant. Pete Wright, morning. Danny, cracking work and lush sunrise. It is, isn't it? It's um, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, hardly a soul around. It's just um, peaceful and really, really lovely. The uh, morning shots, I can't pretend to like when I'm... Uh... Oh, yeah, one coming in now. I cannot pretend to like those morning shots when the alarm goes off at 4 a.m., I'll be honest with you, or even earlier in the case of uh, some of those Stansted streams uh, that we've bought you. But... Um... Yeah, once you're here and set up, it's just stunning. So if you like your propeller planes, your propeller base planes, then you've got the inbound from Dublin. This is an ATR 72600 and it's Echo India. Hotel Delta Kilo. We've also got a Guernsey uh, ATR 72600. Uh, as well, so uh, double propeller action for you. And you'll experience a different noise now. Whoops, come on now, what are you doing? What are you doing? I do have a trail above me, but I don't want to uh, take the camera off this uh, this lovely shot here. That always sounds so dramatic, doesn't it? So, so dramatic. Right, another one on the horizon as well for you, so I'm going to cut away with your permission. And this is the second ATR, 72600. Hello. Dogs come to say hello this morning. Hello. <laughs> Morning. Morning. 
Hello, mate. Hello. That's a perk of the job, seeing beautiful doggies. Right. Love aviation's off on holiday. Let's find out about that in a second, uh, Keith. Great news, and I hope that you're gonna have a great time, but tell us where you're off to. And how long? Second half of a uh, inbound prop, double bill. <laughs> this one's coming from Guernsey. Almost floating in the air. Look. Look behind it. Look behind it. Look at that. How often? We don't see planes queuing up that often, do we? That's confusing the autofocus. Look at that. You absolutely don't see that at Bristol very often. Let's keep it on here, though. Keep on the main event. Focus what's going on here now. One job, mate, one job. Oh, look, that looked that, like that was going to be quite firm there, and then just a beautiful buttering at the end. to leave that so we can get the uh, approaching approaching aircraft what's going on with this this morning right Sheila M's been on the uh, prop plane to Jersey I hear Jersey's quite interesting if the weather's a bit uh, spicy that would be interesting Uh, so Ben's Ben's here. Uh, ben Hartley. Good morning to you. Uh, Love Aviation. Pete Wright. Turbo Proud. Turbo Prop has a sound you can't not. F yeah, you're right. It's just something else. Uh, oh, Love Aviation. You're off to um, Malaga Airport then. Toro Molinos. Beautiful. Hope you have a lovely time. Where are you going from? Uh, Love Aviation. Are you uh, going to be in the air while we're on, or or not? Oh no, seventh, sorry, read further. I'll read further down the chat in a minute. Sorry, folks. All right, you're ready for the noise again, folks. Ready for the noise. out here just so you can see just how low these planes are coming above me. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, and that is definitely a firm right here landing. The no-nonsense approach. Beautiful stuff. Right, I think that's it for the arrivals, just for a second. Yeah, 
that's the white turbine, that's an amazing noise. Uh, watch this one come down the runway in just a second. Taxiway, sorry. Let me catch up on the chat. Yeah, Toromolin, that's right. Not flying till five past five, but meeting up with the gang for brekkie and a bit of snook before we go. That sounds fantastic. Keith, have a great time, won't you? Thank you for everything you've uh, uh, done for the channel as well. Really, really, really helped us with your uh, stewardship of the uh, chat and everything. Much appreciated. So Sheena M's been on the prop plane and uh, bongering around with Chris. I'm going on my honeymoon on the 21st of October, flying from Heathrow to Miami on American 777 and nine days later home on an A380. I am so envious of that. A380 is uh, still something I haven't managed to achieve, but it's got to happen. It's got to happen. I hope you have the most amazing honeymoon. Are you married yet, uh, or, or is that still to come? BAA380 just approaching Bridge End. Uh, love aviations, loving the new location. Yeah, me too. Uh, it is, it is cool, isn't it? Right. Where's the? Uh, there we are. Not so encumbered by uh, hedge uh, as we were previously. Although, again, I cannot tell you how daft I feel for not just walking a bit further down this hill. I was so keen to get started and find a spot. I kind of just got on with it and just assumed for months that that was the best shot. And um, there's, a, there's a real lesson there. It's classic me. I'm, I'm Captain Impatient. That is my... Uh, that is how I am, but uh, yeah, sometimes it uh, sometimes it's a good quality, sometimes not so good. <laughs> the uh, inbound there is from Bucharest, by the way, OTP, and it's uh, the Ryanair 737-800, but it's operated by Malta Air, which Ryanair owns. Right, the uh, Boston to Heathrow, is that the A380 over Bridge End you're talking about? Uh, yes. Okay, well at the moment, as you can see up here, which is kind of where it's going to be coming from, we've got a problem. However, we do it does get clearer, so I am going to keep my eyes on the sky. Don't worry. If it's there, I will bring it to you. There's not much else happening for a little bit here, I think, so it gives us a chance to concentrate. Just coming over the coast now. Just south of Porter's Head, but to the north of us. But, uh, Kind of almost effectively overhead, uh, I think. I'm just going to put that on a pad down for a moment and uh, see if I can concentrate on seeing this BA A380. Is it on its way to Heathrow, by the way? Yeah, so it's uh, 25,000, so it's on the descent, that's good. Definitely got some clear sky here. This is right above us, and then we'll be in a pickle due to the camera angles we've got available to us. Tripod angles, I should say. Ah, there it is, there it is, there it is. And it's, oh no, look. Can you see it up there, folks? Can't zoom. It can't. Is that it? No. I can see it. I'm just trying to get it. Where is it? Sorry, folks, it's with the sun in my eyes. I cannot see a thing. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I think it's gone behind the clouds again there now. The, the problem I've got here is I'm being directly blinded by the sun, so it's uh, 
It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. I'm just going to keep the camera there just in case. I'll use my viewfinder next time. That might help. Oh man, I'm so sorry. That was disappointing. Oh, there, yeah, there it is now. That edge is over there. Still can't see the down okay. no, Just We just got a glimpse as it came out the cloud, but uh, nope. Sorry, folks. That is, uh, sorry to say, a little bit harder than it looks when the sun's uh, caning it across here. Let's have a look at Ryanair land for a moment, see what's going on. Ah, so Chris was married three years ago during COVID. Uh, just your wife and your mum's, and then a year later, a wedding party with guests, and this is our very, very delayed honeymoon. My goodness me, you've waited for this, haven't you? Chris, I hope it's... Uh, well, it will be. It's just going to be... A, you're going to have the most amazing time, and you're going to have some fantastic aviation along the way from the sound of it as well. But uh, just... We all wish you here the best best of times. Sheila M says Jersey Airport is pretty small but very nice. Never flown to Guernsey though. Yeah, I've never flown to either. I've been to both of those islands on the uh, Condor Ferry. Is it Condor? I think it is, out of um, Weymouth. Andy Goldsmith. Good morning, Danny. Great day for it. Absolutely, Andy. How you doing? I know many of our colleagues are on this morning uh, and our peers in this uh, wonderful world of airline streaming, airport streaming. So um, if you've chosen to spend a few minutes with us this morning, then really, really appreciate that. That's uh, great of you. And if, you, if you're brand new to the channel, please do press that subscribe button. And uh, if you've got a moment, press the like button as well. None of those will cost you anything, but they do great things for us. It's like, um, it's like spreading the word instantly when you do that. It's just brilliant. So thank you. Hope the uh, pictures are pretty stable this morning. We're using new internet. First time we've used this at Bristol. We've used it successfully at Stansted and London City last week. And uh, everything was uh, cool with it, but uh, hopefully it's all cool here as well. I hear an engine startup. I believe it's the Palmer de Mallorca. 737 MAX 8. And I think... That is over here. Well, it won't be that one, surely. Because that one's already going on both sides, isn't it? OK, well, that one's on its way there. Maybe there's another... Oh, yeah, there's another two there. Perhaps it's that one, but... Oh, well, actually, that's not it. Yeah, that's a max. Yeah, OK. And definitely hear an engine starting up, but it looks to me like uh, both of those ones are running. So the one that's rolling down here now is off to Palma de Mallorca. This is Golf dash tango uniform mike bravo 737 max 8 4 2 of course and uh just four years old maybe still new plane smell on that one Next arrival, by the way, looks to be around 8.45. Start a new job this week, folks. It's been an uh, intense week, uh, learning so much. Like, so much of uh, like very, very comprehensive, brilliant systems, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, in that first week you struggle to take too much in. It's uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? But uh, it's been an amazing week for a great company, so I uh, can't wait to uh, get back next week. And then, of course, a week off for me as I go on holiday to Italy. A little bit of aviation for me out of Gatwick. Unfortunately, no streaming, but I'll try and do some shorts. Called Menorca. That's not where it's going though.
There is a, uh, just for a moment, a Jet 2, just you might hear, making a racket, that's here. So a few departures to watch and enjoy the rumbles of. Cruise, we're going to St. Martin, you're not. Oh my goodness, we'll be going to Maho Beach with the famous airport runway. Bongering around with Chris, if uh, if you send anything to us, we'd love to see that, that would be amazing. And uh, if you get any videos or anything like that, you'd like them, uh, you may have your own YouTube channel, but if you don't and you'd like us to publish them for you with uh, full credit, let us know. Love to see that. I went to um, Antigua earlier in the year and it just occurred to me how close we were to St. Martin, uh, but it, um, I looked up the flight prices, it just wasn't viable. And the, uh, actually the availability on those inter-Caribbean island flights as well were uh, very, very limited. Which I suppose is good news, really. <laughs> There's the 737 going down before it comes up, thanks to uh, Bristol's unique runway here uh, over the hump. Looks like uh, my camera angle's gone a little bit on the wonk again, folks. I'm just going to slightly fix that. Keep our eye on arrivals and departures, and also, I was going to say the sky, but the uh, cloud has come across again. There is something just zooming past us up there, but I think it's about to go into the cloud. Who knows what that is? Looks mid size. Straight into the clouds, I'm afraid. Lovely rumbling from uh, the Jet 2737 there. Probably because of the angle we're at. Love it. Good morning to you if you're on any other network this morning uh, other than YouTube um, and watching our stream. I can't respond to any messages, but uh, if you come over to YouTube, that's where the action is. Uh, if not, I'll see your message after the stream. But thank you very much for joining us this morning, regardless. We're well, shaping up to be a great day, except actually, I think the rain's on its way. Uh, not while we're on air this morning. But uh, at the moment, it's beautiful. But uh, if you are looking to uh, make the most of the weather, then my suggestion would be jump out of bed and uh, do so now, as I think around the, these parts, anyway, the weather ain't going to be so good later this afternoon and into the evening. In case you're in, oh yeah, let's give you the arrivals. Next in at 8.45 is the Embraer and uh, that'll be a KLM and then maybe 9.05, 9, yeah, two at 9.05, one at 9.06 and 9.18, so, <coughs> excuse me, quite a few coming in in that next nine o'clock hour. Um, and as you can see from the airport here, definitely some more departures to occur. I wonder if the um, Jet 2 here is just uh, doing some sort of engine test or something. Bristol doesn't strike me as the kind of airport where that would particularly be a thing, but there we are. Unless the rumbling we can hear is the APU. Is there any hint of that? Yes, look. 
I reckon it's the APU we can hear. Which is in the tail of the plane, of course. Auxiliary power unit. I think that means. <laughs> right. In case you're interested this morning, the uh, the meta for you here at the airport, which is the uh, weather forecast for aviation. Um, the report was made on the 30th of September at 7.50 a.m. for Bristol Airport, which is Echo Golf Golf Delta. Uh, that's the airport code. The wind is from the direction 180 degrees with a speed of four knots. Now, um, you're watching 27, 270 departures this morning and arrivals. And they could come in at 09 as well. So as you can see, that's directly crossing the runway. Uh, but four knots probably doesn't matter too much. Flight category is VFR, visual flight rules. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more. The temperature is 12 degrees. The dew point is 10. Humidity is 88% and the QNH is 1,025 hectopascal. Sunrise today was at 7.09 and it will be at 18.52 this evening. All times local. Disappointing, I can hear things above the head now, uh, but uh, can't can't see it because of the cloud. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, let me wish you a big welcome. We're Plaincaster, weekly streams from Bristol Airport, and uh, sometimes we travel around as well and bring you some, some of the great London action as well from Stansted and London City uh, being the most recent. We hope we find you well this morning and uh, you are very, very welcome. Oh dear me, sorry folks, we were uh, having a bit of fun with the tripod this morning. It's not the tripod's fault, of course it's my fault. Uh, love Aviation, I have to go now, bye everyone, enjoy the rest of the stream, I'll try and pop back on in a bit, have a great weekend. Love Aviation, thank you so much, but you have a great holiday down there in the Costa del Sol, I hope it's magical and we'll uh, catch you soon. Hope you managed to catch some uh, aviation shots as well while you're there. I know you'll probably be trying. Morning. I if I managed to lose that already, sorry folks. Took my eye off the ball there. Uh, that Jet 2 departure is off to Girona this morning in northern Spain. One of the first places I flew to as a wee young lad. Juliet Zulu Delta Alpha is that aircraft and it's 10 years old. Thank you to our friends at Radar Box for all the great data that uh, they uh, help us collect and uh, make use of, uh, much appreciated as ever. And as I always say, especially now with the new job I'm doing, which has kind of given me some uh, improved visibility of ways to do things, we have uh, exciting plans to improve the quality of our on-screen graphics. Look at that view, just amazing. That 
it sounds like that. Or one of the other Maxes in the airport might be starting up. Don't know if you just heard that. Um, Bunga and Ram, my daughter's flying from Bristol next Thursday, I believe, on her way to Tenerife. Well, that's fantastic. We wish her a good holiday as well. I wish I had the uh, ability to come during the week now, but uh, now I'm back in gainful employment. <laughs> I've got to, uh, uh, got to concentrate on that, I'm afraid. This is a 767-300 coming over us, but it's just too cloudy to see, but at least you can probably hear it on my mic there. we're looking at there I think that is the engine we heard starting up and uh, this one's off to Verona this is the F registration of their uh, TUM range Golf Dash Tango uniform Mike Foxtrot four years old also um, and uh, Verona they're two hours ahead of us It's a 1,205 kilometre journey. Lovely. 747-400 freighter heading straight towards you if the cloud breaks. <laughs> you know, I'd love to tell you it was going to, but look. This is all we have. And, uh, yeah, it's clearer there, but that's uh, it's only a relatively small hole, I'm afraid. Never mind. It, the thing is here at Bristol, it clears as quick as it uh, clouds, so maybe it uh, will give us the opportunity and we'll catch some things later. Right, there's the Max. I think I can hear that freighter as well. Oh man, what a shame. of birds around on the uh, on that area of the runway there I'm sure uh, the airport authorities will end up doing something about that you might hear the uh, bird scaring noises we sometimes hear What's the time at the moment? See, half eight, that's why my alarm is going off telling me to go to park run. Well, the perfect excuse not to run this morning, though. But I know some airports open up the runway uh, to do like a 5K on the runway, don't they? I would love to do that. I would dearly love to do that. If they ever do the inaugural one at Bristol, count me in. I know New Key Airport have done it before, and um, possibly it was London City, I think, I was seeing, did it? Terrific fun that would be. I'm 
just going to keep an eye on things here because we're not particularly geared up for rain this morning. So we may have to cut short if there's any risk of that. Um, let's have a look. Got a zero percent chance of precipitation. But I think you'll probably know from previous streams we've seen that before. <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody on the terrace this morning that we can make out. I, last time I tried to find it, I couldn't even make it out on the camera which bit it was, but it's a fab thing. If you fly through the airport, don't forget to step out there. I think it's around there. And you've got some great views of... Uh, you know, it's just as you go up the stairs at the end of the terminal there. You have actually got some great views. I think you can have a cigarette out there might be wrong. I think it's a smoking area and uh, you can um, also get nice views of anything on the apron here which of course is empty at the moment. It's normally easy jet land isn't it but uh, yeah lots of lots of stuff to see there. Looks like the TUI is going to make its way down. More stuff is flying overhead we can hear it. I cannot see it. Uh, bunkering around with Chris, can I ask what setup you use, Danny? Yeah, um, it's, um, I mean, I'll just describe it loosely. I've got a Panasonic kind of semi-professional video camera um, uh, here, uh, which is uh, gives me the ability to remote zoom and um, keep it on a tripod and take out a good clean feed from it to put into an encoder, which uh, sends the signal to my house. And then my computer at home is uh, adding on some of the custom software graphics that I've uh, designed. There you go, there's that noise, that's the bird scarers. Morning. Uh, yeah, that, so that then uh, goes out onto YouTube from my house. Um, I've got mobile broadband internet. I have tried using um, the stuff that's kind of designed for mobile use. But uh, frankly, unless conditions are great, you don't always do very well with that. So I've got now a much better kind of router you'd have in your house to route 5G but, um, or 4G. But um, that's what I'm using now. Uh, but of course, if you do that, you will need mobile power. So I do have power units here capable of powering via a three pin plug so uh, that is what is occurring this is interesting this one's uh, taking out an earlier trip onto the runway oh it's going to come down and do a turn you get a nice little uh, view here of everything let's see if we can See inside, it's an interesting route they took down, isn't it? Yeah, Chris, if, um, if you've got any uh, sort of detailed inquiries, I'm more than happy to help. Um, been through a lot of uh, stress with this setup to try and get it stable, so uh, if I can give you the benefit of my advice, if you're trying to set something similar up, then let me know. Contact at plainecaster.uk. And uh, drop me a message and I'll um, be happy to reply. A few of you might be watching this morning because you enjoyed the London City stream and I know this is probably obvious because uh, the good people at SDTV have been doing that airport for ages but if you do want great streams live from London City Airport, SDTV is your uh, channel, your go-to channel every Friday afternoon and I think it's about three o'clock they uh, or maybe a little bit later, they bring you amazing tea time action. The tea time rush, as it were. So the um, Aer Lingus is next, but the uh, TUI is first. That's a bit of 360, 180, sorry, action. For this Max here. This is the one off to Verona, isn't it? Yeah.
Dublin has been turned around nice and quick, isn't it? One of the propeller planes we saw. Something big just coming over the uh, top of the Bristol Channel, but it's uh, we are not going to catch it, I'm afraid. Is that a 380? No, it's a 777. Right. I mean, you hardly heard that takeoff there. That was a very relaxed takeoff for the flight to Verona on this Max. Gonna jump back down for the uh, oops, propeller HDK. So let's try for this one. ATR seventy two six hundred. This model. So we've had a super bright start with the sunrise this morning, but uh, it has promptly been covered over by the clouds. So it's kind of like almost getting dark again. So bongering around with Chris is in Southampton. Love to do it here. Have the cam and my power source as my Mazda Bongo camper. Just not the abilities to connect to go live. Well, um, Amazon do some great encoders by a brand called Uray. Um, it's a cheap sounding brand, and it uh, probably, well, it is fairly cheap, but they, um, I did have one break on me, but this second one has been pretty good. I need to go and touch a tree now, touch wood. But uh, yeah, yeah, the, it's, um, it, it's the power source that, that complicates it and makes everything heavy, but uh, it sounds like you've got that sorted. Wish you all the best of it. Let us know your channel name if it's uh, it's not uh, bongoing around with Chris. If it's a different brand or whatever, let us know, and we'll um, recommend everybody subscribe to you. Now, this is interesting. That's waiting, but something has come onto the runway. They haven't paid their uh, takeoff fees. Uh, some animal action they need to take care of. There are ways we can find this Uh, a quick look. I, uh, it's not really uh, strictly a good idea to transmit air traffic control, retransmit air traffic control. Uh, so I'm afraid I can't keep that going. Another pushback here is the uh, other propeller plane we saw come in. There's a beautiful view of it.
and let you know when the other propeller plane uh, over here starts to roll. I don't think it's rolling yet. There we are, we all wanted to see that uh, other engine spin up. Fantastic. Right air action behind it, look. It's all happening at Bristol. Yeah, mass exodus. They, uh, we'll have an empty airport ready for some more to come in. So I'm not sure what the hold up is on the runway at the moment. They are, uh, Definitely seems to be a, a stop. Ah, hold on. I tell a light, I tell a light. That's now rolling. There was a little stop for some reason. Dublin ATR catching the crosswind, which is a little bit more prevalent higher up. And uh, let's take you back to this one. Quite a beauty, aren't they, from the front? But it does appear to have an extra set of wings, <laughs> thanks to the Ryanair part behind it. <laughs> uh, Bongering around with Chris, right, we need to. Uh, Subscribe. There you go. Done. Subscribe to Bong going around with Chris, folks. He's going to be bringing you some, uh, hopefully bringing you some cool action. Direct from the van. Yeah, feel free to drop an email. Happy to help. And, uh, yeah. How are we doing, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to Bristol Airport. It is, uh, where are we at? We're at quarter to nine nearly, and uh, you're watching action from the airport. We've had quite a few departures this morning, um, about four or five arrivals and uh, some more arrivals due in. Uh, for now, it's uh, departures we're concentrating on. This is an ATR 72600 that's off to Guernsey, I think. Yeah, it's back to Guernsey, this one. Morning. Elton Common ever so popular with uh, dog walkers. So lots of nice people walking the dog and lots of uh, lovely dogs coming over and saying hello. Which is always cool. behind it is uh, must be a candidate for the next departure after this Orini. Just put the camera there so you can see the whole of the action. The Ryanair is off to Bucharest which is where it came in from earlier. Nine Hotel, Quebec, Alpha Lima is a registration on that one. Uh, good morning, I enjoyed your stream from London City, so I thought I'd pop into Bristol. Peter Bosio, oh, that's fantastic, Peter. Welcome to Bristol. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you, you, there's a fair bit of action. If, actually, if you wind back, there's a fair bit of action. Uh, but uh, more to come. Got departures from this uh, angle we find ourselves at this morning, which is great overlooking the airport, and uh, we can just catch these... Uh, One's on the roll as well. Departures coming in right over the top of us and making quite the racket, which is fantastic. Definitely uh, much more cross-windy up there. 
from the south to the north as you can definitely see um, not so much on the ground though so you'll probably see a slight cr crab on the, any inbounds we haven't got any at the moment to bring you do have a nice close up of this right here though off to Bucharest Oh, it's great to have uh, some some of you joined us who were, were with us at uh, London City last week. And Jet Videos was with us this morning. Good morning. Yeah, the ATRs, they are amazing. And we have an A350 1000 coming over the top of us, but uh, the cloud is just not going to let us catch it this morning. I'm so sorry. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Another Ryanair departing after this one. So this one's to Bucharest. Actually, I'll tell you a lie. I do apologise. It said Bucharest earlier. It's changed now. It's off to uh, Malaga. I mean, they can change your mind, can't they? If I had to pick between Bucharest or Malaga, I think I'd pick Malaga, frankly. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure Bucharest is very nice. That is where our friend Love Aviation is off to today as well, uh, Malaga. I think he's based up in Manchester, so uh, presumably that's where he'll be flying from. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, uh, it's quite funny. It's got, it's, we've had sunrise, it's got warm this morning, and now it's uh, actually cooling down again. Very bizarre. There's another Ryanair waiting. That's your Bucharest. No, it's not your Bucharest, sorry. That's wrong as well. Come on, Danny, get it together. That's your Malaga. No. No, 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 no. Sorry. I beg your pardon. What's happening is here, we've got one missing from the radar. That's the problem. So the one you're looking at now is off to Bucharest. The other one, which is where it came in from. The next one is off to Malaga. Don't rely on me for any information, will you? <laughs> oh, Bon Green around with Chris Founders last week. I thought I recognised the <laughs> brilliant username. Um, Abbott Help, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Have a great weekend, and we'll, we'll see you again soon. Have a great honeymoon as well, by the way. Have the best time. Just waiting for the uh, Bucharest departure here to put his uh, foot, put their foot to the floor, and there it goes. Takeoff, it looks like from me from there. Fantastic! Looks like a lot of fun to be on that one. All right, still keeping an eye on this weather. The precipitation now coming our way a little bit later, allegedly. Wind is due to get up here at Bristol. Um, sadly, I've got other commitments, otherwise, I'd. Uh, would have come in the afternoon. We do have uh, something on approach actually as well, which uh, means this is going to have to get a move on. The uh, plane on approach is a 320 
uh, CEO with EasyJet and it's coming from Faro. That will be next. NJet's flying to Alicante from Bristol on the 20th of October. Uh, what day is that, NJet? I, th I can only do weekends now. Do you know, this is... Um... So I'm going to let that departure go, right? And I'm going to swing it round because just to show you that actually this inbound is quite close. And we love our uh, arrivals here, don't we? So let's bring that to you. You can see the crab there perfectly. That wind. And being blown to the north, wind coming from the south exactly uh, adjacent to the runway. I mean adjacent or perpendicular? Do they mean the same? I can't remember the words now. this noise folks Love this position. Right over the head and down onto uh, Bristol's reasonably short runway there. With a little bump. There we are. Perfect. We must be like 10 seconds from landing as they cross our head. Cross overhead. Brilliant stuff. Oh, it's a Friday. Oh, that's a shame, um, NJet. We'd love to cover you, absolutely would love to cover you, you know, I'd always do that if I could, but uh, yeah, new job and uh, new responsibilities. Now, another Ryanair this morning for us. Where does this one want to go? They're off to Corners. SP. RKN is the registration of this one. You know, it feels suspiciously like it might rain. I'm uh, starting to feel just a little bit nervous. Just look, it actually turns out there's another arrival as well. They're sneaking in today, folks. Oh, look, another one behind as well. Do you see that? Just making the turn in the background. Turning on to final. That is a great shot. Absolutely beautiful. for the racket with this 737 folks.
fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right. That to me feels like a drop of rain. I'm just going to make sure. We're ready to go if we need to be. data we're gonna leave that one because we've got an inbound from Amsterdam <coughs> excuse me this is the Embraer that we promised something that sounds a little bit different this morning as it comes over and that's the one we saw crossing uh, to turn on to final I think after the uh, after the one that just landed It almost looks like I'm panning the camera there, doesn't it? But it's just the uh, speed of that uh, lower cloud pushing through. Which you can definitely see the effects of on the aircraft there. Another great shot of a uh, departing plane there. Did you just catch that? Oh, the Embraer looks like it comes in quite tasty speed there, doesn't it? The uh, other departure was just up there. There it is. That's the Ryanair that just took off on the turn. That would be over the M5, I would say, around that sort of area. Little spots of rain. Now, let's see what the zero percent chance has turned turned into now. <laughs> Fifty percent chance. You've got to love it, haven't you? You've got to love it. Right. Let's have a quick look here, folks. I think. I may have to cut this short because I didn't come really uh, prepared for rain this morning, unfortunately. Um, gonna keep my eyes open. Let me see if I can maybe do. What we can do here. We have 
to uh, we have a rain cover for the camera but uh, it requires a little bit of disassembly of other gear as well so it puts us at a bit of a disadvantage in terms of uh, what we can bring what we can bring you but we do seem to have some more traffic on the way so let me um, let me see what I can do if we can solve it we will I will even <laughs> do you know who we are it's me This camera does require a degree. Yeah, I think it's like this, right? So it's apologies for the kerfuffle for a moment, folks. We're just going to put the rain cover on. Right, that goes in there, I believe. see anything we can't see anything at all that's not a very good start is it yes we can when we do that right okay oh, you've got to love the British weather haven't you always helping out See how we get on here now, folks. If it does uh, come down, the weather is so unpredictable these days. True that, Sheila. It really is. You're absolutely right. It seems to be very unpredictable. Bad scary. You're hearing that. Aside for that, or it's um, sorry, spotter scary. Okay. Have a quick look at the uh, radar now. Stuff turning on to approach. Looks like we've got a crack off or crack out to Bristol. Uh, 737 Max 8 200. That's next. Just going to. Oops. Steady. Sorry folks, probably sounds a bit seat of the pants, which is exactly what it is really. <laughs> when we have to uh, prepare for the weather. Over the top of us is an A350, but it's super cloudy now, so we won't be catching that. So the Krakow is uh, a uh, 737 MAX 8200. And um, it's only two years old, this one. And it's in a Buzz livery, which is cool. Another airline owned by uh, Ryanair. <coughs> so I'm going to turn, it is a little way out, but let's turn the camera now because there's nothing else to see. Oh yeah, there we are. You can just about see that now. just been hidden again I think by that uh, cloud casually wafting past pretty sure that's where I saw it <laughs> come on I know you're out there reveal yourself no it's not there at all look it's there heaven's sake Danny Right, 
I don't have an external monitor now, folks, because of the uh, rain cover. So <clears throat> it's not actually raining, but I'm just ready for it when it happens. So forgive me if uh, we don't quite catch things like we did before. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Isn't that not beautiful? starting to rain now. That trails uh, all the way to the ground, how stunning. Oops, there we are, job done. Just need to think about, uh, now it is actually proper raining, protecting the rest of the gear, so bear with me, folks. Thinking, can that go in there? Put you in there. Rain cover for every occasion. Here at Plumcaster. Sorry for the noise, folks. If we're going to protect, we might as well uh, go the whole hog. Right, sorry for that noise, folks. Absolutely. Must be absolutely hideous. Sorry about that. My uh, little microphone uh, fluffing thing has uh, fallen off now. So what I'm going to do, just quickly try to fix that while I have a second. I'm going to turn my sound off to prevent it being hideous. Bear with me. That didn't work very well, did it? going to sort this out now. So one of the things I have the most problems with are the simple things like um, like these little uh, dead cats as they as they call them. You put them on the end of the mic when it's windy and then you don't get so much of the uh, noise. But this one this is a new microphone I'm using today, or a different microphone, because I left the other one at home. Let's just try and resolve that now. There we go. I think that sorted it out now. Morning. Right, okay. It's like a little bit of general aviation as well. Did we miss that? Did we, did we catch that and I didn't see? Restore the sound. Another inbound on the way, folks. We'll uh, swing it round. Catch that for you. Yeah, so this new rain cover, believe it or not, folks, costs 90 quid. And it's custom, it's custom for the camera, although it's not official for the camera, but I have to say it's so much easier to put on than the old one. The old one was like um, a round of the Krypton Factor. Fact. 
I would say every way was wrong. There was actually no right way to put it on. It was a nightmare. I'm hoping we're still transmitting now. The rain cover hasn't uh, upset the uh, internet connection too much. Hi Danny, just looked at the rain radar. No significant rain till 10.35, but who knows here in Blighty. Mark, thank you, appreciate that. Hoping that's the case. I am kind of geared up for it now. But uh, yeah, I will um, maybe take a call on it, depending on the uh, amount of traffic coming in. Anyway, for now, let us enjoy the sight of this uh, Amsterdam A32214 coming in for EasyJet. It's Echo Zulu, Romeo, Tango landing now. There's a lone bird flying above me right now, which would be pretty sensible to get out of the way, as it has. Lovely little uh, descent onto the runway there. Very pleasing. Right. Liam's Aviation 8, what's the zoom on your camera? It's quite good for Bristol. Yeah, it's, um, well, it's a, I think it's 20 optical. Um, and then we, we go into the realm. So if I was to give you an example now by doing the tail of this aircraft. So at the moment we're on um, full out. And then I think that is your about 20 zoom or maybe, actually maybe about there is 20 zoom. And I think we're into the digital realms then. It's uh, it's pretty cool actually. Yeah. You can get cameras with more zoom, but uh, you you know you kind of this is this is actually a kind of semi broadcast camera, so it's kind of like you get what you pay for. Um, and zoom actually isn't everything. I've uh, come to realise that when having to use. Um, to use the iPhone, for example, um, in uh, wet weather, and uh, you know that zoom not always required. But but sometimes for those trail shots in the sky, you know the, the digital kind of messes it up a little bit, doesn't it? But uh, it's nice to get in close, and you can generally make out what's going on, can't you? There we go. That's that's towards the end of the optical zoom, I would say there. And it's easy to think that's pretty close, but if I go right back, that's actually where it is, just to give you an idea. Danny, hope the rest of the stream goes well and the rain keeps off. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate that. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, nothing coming in at the moment, but I've got my eye on the radar, so don't worry, you won't miss anything, folks. Including me being rained on. Haven't seen a Scottish arrival yet. 
Oh, here comes the Irish one, though. The Belfast to Bristol's coming down over the... Uh, just entering the kind of South Wales realm. That's an A319. Echo Zulu Bravo Echo. Descending uh, through 16,000 feet at the moment. We'll see that one in about 20 minutes. You can tell when I'm not looking through the camera lens, can't you? The plane like, literally taxis off the side of the view. Sorry, folks. Before it gets uh, covered over. <laughs> Curious little dog. Hello, mate. Doing everybody, you're with Plane Caster live from Bristol Airport. Live arrivals uh, at the moment onto runway 27, which means we're landing to the west and taking off in that direction as well. Not sure about the weather. So Liam's Aviation 8 uh, got a 60 times optical zoom. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. It's a uh, Canon. It's got a 200 mil lens. It's, uh, it's good. Yeah, it sounds fantastic, mate. That is uh, that will get you some uh, superb shots, won't it? From from great distance. Of course, one of the one of the problems you have when you're zoomed in so far is then you uh, you have this problem with um, stability and. Uh, but the, the newer cameras, and this is certainly not a new camera, I wanted to get an older, more kind of broadcasty camera rather than a new kind of um, new cool 4K thing. Um, but uh, the newer cameras do have most amazing image stabilization, as do the smartphones. Let's face it, some of the shorts that I've put up that I've taken on my iPhone were um, terribly shaky from uh, holding the phone. But uh, once the phone processes it, it's just fantastic. Good morning everyone, says Emma, and to Emma we say good morning to you, welcome to the channel. So glad you're with us this morning folks, it's, um, Bristol is our, our airport, we'll broadcast from weekly and occasionally where possible, uh, I've just started a new job so it's kind of a little bit more restrictive now. Um, I will uh, be endeavouring to bring you some London airports, like London City, which was so successful last week. Last um, Friday morning, tipped us over the 1,000 mark for the first... Well, it will be for the first day uh, on our subscribers. So thank you. Thank you for that. That was uh, absolutely amazing support. And also on the uh, Stansted the day before. We had a nice um, email from YouTube saying, well done, you've passed 1,000. Here's some new features, and well, thank you very much. So that was amazing. And yeah, Stansted on Thursday as well was uh, incredibly uh, well supported. I love that livery. That is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I think I would have seen that at Stansted, but um, I don't remember seeing it last week now. Ryanair kind of feel like they own Stansted, you know? The amount of stuff you see go through there. Um, 
I take my Samsung Galaxy phone up the airport and my videos are alright, my YouTube's got 300 subs. Well, that's fantastic. Well done, Liam's Aviation 8. Make sure, uh, folks, you uh, click subscribe on Liam Aviation's 8 channel as well. If you love aviation, that's why you're here and you're going to get some great stuff from uh, Liam as well. So uh, press that button, folks. Oh, sorry, um, I'm enjoying your stream, enjoy your pint. This was from um, Peter Bozier's. Peter, sorry I haven't mentioned I've just seen that uh, you've done a, uh, uh, got me a beer. Thank you very much. I'm going to have that this afternoon, I guarantee you. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, Peter's done that via buy me a beer, uh, but sorry, buy me a coffee. <laughs> I changed it to beer. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash plaincaster. Thank you. That's incredibly kind of you, Peter. I um, don't get to see uh, all the information. I don't get the notifications that should come up um, all the time. So apologies for not mentioning it until now. Um, I think that was about 20 minutes ago, Peter. So really appreciate it. Isn't that typical that like it's buy me a coffee, but it uh, yeah changed it to buy me a beer. The reality is that's what I'll be enjoying this afternoon. <laughs> Just had an email from Tui as well telling me about my flight next week. So I'm off to um, southern Italy. I can't remember the name of the airport now. I think it's Tr Tr Tremisie Terme or something like that. And it's, um, um, I think it's a one hotel airport really. So it's going to be an interesting flight. It's a 737-800. I've avoided the max, it seems, um, which I kind of got mixed opinions on. At some point I'd like to go on one. Um, but uh, it looks like it's a 737-800 out of Gatwick. I'll be flying around 7 o'clock on... Uh, Saturday morning, next Saturday obviously, um, there for a week and then back on that uh, equivalent return flight, so that's going to be great. Unexpected little break in the sun, in the Italian sunshine. There's a dreamliner above the thick cloud that's above us now. The Belfast to Bristol service I told you about is uh, now down to 6,000 feet. And that's um, Echo Zulu Bravo Echo is the registration of that one. And uh, that will be with us in about 7 to 8 minutes, I think. As soon as we have that on approach, we'll swing the camera around. As you can see, the airport, a hive of activity as ever. Never sleeps, even at night, this airport. Mark White, good morning. And um, Emma, I think Sheila Emma, I've said hello to you. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Yeah, can you hear that Dreamliner coming over now? That's from Austin, Texas, directly overhead. And uh, going into Heathrow, currently at 23,000 feet, 420 miles an hour. It's a 7879, eight years old. It'd be lovely to see, but you're going to have to use your imagination, I'm afraid, folks. <laughs> so, while I've got a second, let's um, bring you up a summary of the arrivals you can expect this morning here at Bristol. Sometimes it does show stuff that's already landed. Uh, so apologies for that. Confirmation that the next one in from uh, Belfast. Flight U2224 or EZ224. EZY, I should say. Oops, there we are, that's me nearly grotting myself. Right, well, the, listen, the rain has held off so far, Touchwood. Um, we had a couple of drops, um, but they've dried up already. Um, 
hoping hoping that stays that way. We'll uh, probably uh, be on till about uh, another half hour or so. Um, maybe a little bit longer. We'll just keep an eye on the uh, action, really. Try and plan it around the action. Uh, I have to get back for some uh, some some work type things, but also definitely to enjoy that pint that Peter Bozio has bought me. So that's. Uh, that's my afternoon planned out and then tomorrow <clears throat> i appreciate this probably isn't much of a crossover i don't know if uh, you're into your running and you uh, love to hear about the iconic cardiff half marathon which is tomorrow in the city it's the city i live um and uh, as luck would have it the uh, marathon route passes on my road the very road i live uh, just up the road it uh, the runners come around and do quite a, a big turn 90 degree turn so um, we're going to be filming that and streaming it live onto YouTube tomorrow. Now, it won't be onto the Plaincaster channel. It'll be onto a channel called Cardiff. I'm sure it's Cardiff underscore Dave. I should really know that. Sorry. Or Cardiff Dave. But um, if um, if you fancy watching the Cardiff Half Marathon, uh, myself and uh, a few of our fellow runners will be uh, chatting and bringing you live event, uh, live, sorry, live uh, streaming from um, mile nine of that uh, 13.1 mile route it's an iconic race in uh, in uh, the half marathon kind of circuit it's one of the world super halves as well now so um yeah it's pretty fantastic now let's uh, swing around you're with plane cast this morning thank you ever so much for joining us really great to have your company next up is a belfast arrival Kind of see it darting across the sky. It's just on the edge of there. There you go, folks. I'll just um away for a second I haven't got anywhere to put it now the ring covers on and I'll just uh, drag it out between the uh, movements here so uh, this is the um, Belfast service this is an A319 with EasyJet don't see so many of the 319s now I do like a ride on a 319 because it always feels very 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 powerful I think the engines are the same as the CEO 320s, if my understanding is correct. The wind is getting up a little bit here at the ground level. It's been very benign up to now. Definitely a bit rougher up there.
lovely stuff love this angle we can get so much closer to the landing action can't we it's uh, it's absolutely brilliant a couple of friendly doggies coming over now hello hello mate oh you lovely oh absolutely gorgeous hello hello you hello oh you're very wet aren't you <laughs> morning hello there you go there you go morning <laughs> They are the friendliest doggies ever. <laughs> Definitely a, a fringe benefit of uh, working in the field. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? I am uh, I'm broadcasting onto YouTube live at the moment. So um, oh, really? yeah, the aircraft and uh, are coming in, landing and taking off, and yeah, just a weekly thing. <laughs> just a weekly thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you two. They're very friendly, aren't they? Uh, too friendly sometimes. <laughs> Come on, boys. See you later. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Oh, no. yes, you're very lovely, aren't you? Very lovely. Go on in. You're gorgeous. It's the sound of me dogging out. Sorry, folks. Not dogging. That's the wrong word. Enjoying the... Uh, the, the local dogs. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Oh my god, scrub that from the record. What am I saying? I mean, that's right up there with um, Think Plains' is, uh, howlers, which we won't repeat on here, but they are hilarious. I urge you to go and find them. <laughs> right, okay. Get your composure. Um, so the inbound Belfast uh, plane is what you're looking at there. It just landed. A319. And I was saying we haven't had any uh, Scottish action, action yet. Uh, Scottish airport action, which is unusual because... Uh, the flights, I mean, I must have just missed it, essentially, this morning. I think they take off a little bit earlier than when I arrived. Um, mind you, I'm sure there's uh, maybe one on the way back from Scotland that we might catch on the stream before we go. We'll find out, find out now if anybody was listening to my howler there. There is a delay on the stream, by the way. If I don't respond straight away, it's because I don't... Uh, you're, you're you're sort of seeing or hearing me and seeing these pictures with a little delay which we do because the airport asks us to for security reasons which we're more than happy to comply with the airport are very helpful uh, to us and uh, make sure that everybody who needs to be notified is notified of our presence here so thank you as ever to the um, public affairs teams operations at uh, Bristol Airport who are um, able to allow us to do this and uh, ensure that uh, all relevant safety and everything is uh, complied with which uh, we wouldn't think twice about doing so um, yeah thank you but uh, just on that subject because there's a delay sometimes it can appear to be uh, look like I'm taking quite a long time to reply to messages and sometimes I do because I'm hopeless in general but sometimes it's because the delay is uh, adding an extra factor into that as well Uh, brilliant news for Bristol Airport this week. They've just announced uh, an expansion plan to improve the transport hub area of the airport when you come in and the parking and the uh, uh, the pickup and the uh, drop off and all that sort of thing. Let me just... Um, I know most people who watch this stream will probably be aware of this, uh, but... Um, uh, the air lots of airports actually get quite a bit of criticism for this and it might be justified in some cases and, and Bristol's no exception they, they get it in the neck for the parking when you want to drop somebody off it costs you £5 I think it is or whatever and that's that's true it does it absolutely is and there's a spot around um, that part of the airport uh, you know kind of like the main hubbub of the airport as you go in the main entrance go to the end past the terminal turn left and that's the area where you can pick up and drop off and it's £5 I think it's 10 minutes you've got in there for your £5 and then the price goes up but, I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but there is a completely free area you can go to and um, I think you get up to an hour 
over there. So if you just go to the next roundabout, if you're coming from Bristol, or the first roundabout, if you're heading up from, um, from the A38 South area, uh, go into where the Silverlink area is. There is a um, pick up and drop off area there that is completely free and there's a free bus for passengers to come out the terminal, jump on and uh, come around to that area. So just thought it's worth mentioning because the airport gets it in the neck, but they have actually have provided a free position if you don't want to take the ultra convenient thing and pay for it then uh, just go for the slightly uh, less convenient for your passengers method and uh, yeah you can go and use that pit uh oh Sheila heard that <laughs> wow oh my goodness honestly I have to tell you uh, our good friends at Think Planes have have pulled out some clangers out the bag as well i tell you now blooper blooper central um but uh yeah that didn't, didn't quite mean for those words to come out in that manner but there we are there's the beautiful klm embraer which is uh pushed back now just being disconnected and uh, ready for its journey back to uh, amsterdam i'm sure it is just double checking that Yep, that's off to Amsterdam. It's uh, Papa Hotel X, sorry, Echo X-Ray Juliet. That's the registration of that one. <laughs> oh dear. The uh, Bristol to Venice 737-800 is uh, warming up as we speak. The... Uh, 737-800 is there, I believe. That's the one, the Ryanair. And uh, that'll be making its way to Venice very, very shortly. That's Echo India Delta Yankee Oscar, is it? Let me just zoom in a bit more. No, uh, Delta Yankee Delta. Okay. Just double-checking against the radar. That is the one. Yep, that's off to Venice. What a lovely place Venice is. And when I flew back from Venice to Bristol, this was with EasyJet, not Ryanair, we had a go around, which was um, brilliant. Well, brilliant once we knew it was all cool and not because of some terrible problem. And then there was just an aircraft still on the runway. So we had to go and do a circuit of Bristol. Those on the right of the plane had a lovely tour of uh, the city. Back to the Embraer. sound coming across nicely today isn't it the engine sounds of the aircraft even though they're quite a way away love it Shirley we'll keep that one between us yeah <laughs> I don't think anybody else noticed <laughs> although we we could have loads of people like as normal with the stream, watching on catch up, and uh, are like sort of several minutes to an hour behind, and then suddenly they uh, catch it and they're like, WTF? Yeah. I said that. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if this was broadcast TV? I'd already be clipped, ready for um, it will be all right in the night, wouldn't it? We'd already be clipped and sent. Seat that one. That's good to see. I think I've flown on one of these. If this is it, the one seven five or the one nine five that Flyby had, or possibly both. Went to Alicante. Nice little plane. 
Alicantia of Exeter. Feels like a lifetime ago. 2010, I think that was. Blimey. Morning. So this is the uh, KLM City Hopper Amsterdam departure. Embraer 175. Back for the uh, relatively short flight to Amsterdam. This is the scene now at the airport. Let's go from the top, see what we've got in. Ryanair just pushed back there. I'll bring you details of that in just a second. There's that fantastic buzz livery. A couple of easy jets uh, and another one. That's pretty much all we have here at the moment. Uh, so uh, plenty of room for arrivals and uh, definitely, from the looks of things, another departure. Mark White, the joys of live stream, Danny. I can remember the cricket clang. <laughs> England, West Indies, the bowlers holding. Oh yeah, the Batman's willy. Yeah. Oh my, the the batsman's willy. Yeah, that was a fantastic thing, wasn't it? Is that the one where they all creased up for for like they were just they were corpsing, weren't they? Is that the expression? They just couldn't they couldn't do anything, could they? For laughing. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. There's also that um, that really sort of plummy-voiced um, BBC Radio 4 newsreader, Charlotte someone, and she um, did a story. She's like super posh sounding. And uh, there was a story about the oldest, something like the oldest record player recording or gramophone recording they ever found, and it was like, it just sounded ridiculous. Like somebody sort of singing under the bath water. And... Uh, she yeah, just she just lost it as well while she was reading that. Hilarious stuff. And you know, the more you're not allowed to laugh, the my goodness you are gonna laugh, aren't you? I went to a training course once, my good friend Simon, many, many years ago. I think we were talking twenty years ago. And uh, it was quite rare for us to go to training course, but it was rare for me. So uh, went into this course, sat down, and um, something just set us off, me and Simon. And, uh, well, I'm surprised we weren't asked to leave, honestly. You just can't stop because you know that's what makes it funny. The fact that you just are laughing and you know how bad it is. It's like laughing at a funeral, honestly. It's terrible. Right, let's find out where this Ryan Hair's off to. I already told you. Venice. Sorry, folks. <laughs> told you earlier, didn't I? Has it been that long? Yeah, blimey. It's been on the radar for ages. Sorry, folks. It's holding short just for a second. I can't see anything on the horizon. So I don't know whether that's just a procedural thing from the... Uh, same point of view. Oh yeah, Mark White, that's the one, but I had the uh, batsman bowler thing the wrong way around. Yeah, well. Cricket. No one understands cricket, do they? You're, you're fully excused there. <laughs> can hear a Max engine starting up, I think. No, I can't. Oh, maybe I can hear. Just traffic, I don't know. Hello. I think it's a case of something I can hear but can't see. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Are you filming? I'm. Yeah, we're on. We're live on YouTube. So uh, just broadcasting arrivals, departures, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. Thank you. Good luck with that. Thank you.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but people are curious. <laughs> Right, there we are. That's just shot off camera when I was uh, waffling there. Sorry, folks. Just keeping an eye on the inbounds, if uh, if any. The Bristol to Amsterdam flight has done its turn, and it's now over North Bristol. So uh, their flight looks like... Um, it's only really got 50 minutes to go or so, so that's not bad, is it? <clears throat> now, let's uh, keep our eye on stuff that might be coming up that way or down here. The Venice departure is off. If you heard that rumbling there, that wasn't a plane, that was my uh, tummy. I stopped for breakfast on the way this morning. 5.55, McDonald's Newport. Normally, uh, it's on the edge of, um, by, it's by the um, M4, um, Celtic Manor. Normally, a bastion of consistency, this McDonald's. But this morning I had this bacon uh, bacon roll, apologies if you don't eat meat, and, uh, but uh, yeah, I had this bacon roll and it was just, I took one bite into it and do you know sometimes you just know something isn't right, the essence of it was just horrific. <laughs> and it went straight in the bin, which is a real shame. So uh, that's why my tummy's rumbling this morning. I don't need, I don't need sympathy, don't worry, I'm just, uh, <laughs> just explaining, in case you wondered. Probably a good thing, I eat, I eat far too much anyway. Also skipped breakfast once in a while. So the uh, Scottish flight I was telling you about, the Edinburgh to Bristol, is about 22 minutes out. And it's at 26,000 feet at the moment, descending over... Uh, just just past Welsh Pool in mid Wales, not too far away from Hereford. <coughs> Excuse me. Just going to check something as well. While we have a second. <coughs> Excuse me. So folks, I know you probably get bored of me telling you this, but if you're going to fly from Bristol Airport, they don't want you to pay full right, yeah? They don't want you to pay full price for parking. Official airport parking is 15% off. All you've got to do, go to the website and that will pop up, put your email address in, and you'll get the odd helpful email from them, occasionally with um, discount codes and stuff like that, and you will be on your way to a lovely 15% discount at any of the official airport car parks. So. Um, you may also find that that code works for um, priority security as well. It has in the past, or it did for me anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, look at that, and uh, occasionally they'll give you deals on lounges and things like that as well. So well worth being signed up if you're a Bristol Airport flyer to, to that official Bristol Airport mailing list. Uh, emails don't come that often. It's not a, it's not a big deal. things here that's uh, we did just miss a little bit of uh, a little tiny um, general aviation flight I'm afraid but uh, they hide 
even from this vantage point they hide below the edge or they're hidden I should say it's not like they're deliberately hiding Great shot here, some double easy jet action. Nothing on approach that I can see. I think they're just holding for their own reasons or slot times, etc. Yeah, they're off now, aren't they? Remember that jet to um, synchronised pushback? That was fun, wasn't it? Have a look on um, YouTube for that on the Plaincaster channel. We've got a synchronised pushback of jet twos. Labelled, we've just overlaid a bit of Bolero from the, that classic Winter Olympics. It's pretty cool. I thought it was funny anyway. Uh, right now, let's have a look. That one is now off to the one you're looking at. This easy jet. A320 CEO, it's off to Faro. It's a Portuguese adventure for these uh, lucky passengers. Looks like a uh, another easy jet has just pushed back up there. We'll bring you the details of that after we've watched this one roll. Lovely stuff, right. That's our uh, next departure there. Lots of dog walkers around up the common here now. Note I said dog walkers. Um, Bristol to Inverness is this uh, flight you're looking at here. This is an A320, that'll be on its way very shortly up to Inverness. And uh, the um, inbound from Edinburgh, that I told you about earlier, is now just to the east of Hay on Wye. Famous for their liter literary festival? Am I right? Am I right? I think so. So that's now about 18 minutes away and uh, just keeping an eye on the other stuff around as well. I think mainly departures at the moment. Hello. Beautiful friendly golden retriever here or Labrador. Hello. Hello. You can see that I'm um, trying to catch up with uh, stuff on the pad and not looking at what's going on. I apologise. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to uh, press that subscribe button if you possibly could. It uh, is entirely free for you to do so. Uh, if you press the like button on the stream as well, exactly the same. And uh, it's just like doing wonders for us if you do that. Thank you so much. Welcome to anybody who has joined us today. I uh, don't get many notifications of that sort of thing, um, but um, welcome to the channel if you have, and uh, you're very welcome. I hope you enjoy these streams from Bristol Airport. Inverness is where this one is off to. Uh, apparently that is the uh, 
correct pronunciation, as I understand it. So I think what we'll do, folks, we'll wait for the um, inbound Edinburgh. We'll catch that landing, and then that, that'll be it for this morning's stream. And um, I think that's probably still about 15, 20 minutes out, so don't worry if you weren't uh, not disappearing immediately. But, um, yeah, it's been great talking to you all and streaming with you this morning and watching these great, wonderful planes and seeing these ama amazing skills of the pilots. It's just been brilliant, hasn't it? And managed to dodge a worse of the rain. So, uh, well, there wasn't any rain, but managed to dodge rain. So that's good. A few drops. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, folks. So that's all come from. Just one buzz and one easy jet to go. What do we think? It's going to be first. Gotta leave the uh, image on there just for a second because I just think that is amazing. <coughs> Excuse me again, folks. Right. Um, So it's our EasyJet that's in next. And that will be coming from Edinburgh. Let's see where that is. It's uh, just going over Magor, which is the bit where the service station is, just as you get into Wales, if you uh, know that on the M4. And that will be our last arrival today. Lots of great aviation streams online at the minute. And um, thank you for choosing to uh, spend some time with us here today. Much appreciated, really is. Um, I think our subscribers have gone up from earlier. So it uh, looks like we might have welcomed a new sort of t ooh, number 12 of you today. So thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you very much for pressing that button. It means the world to us. something flying above us also there's a uh, formation flight here uh, a rare spotted occ occurrence look where's he gone okay, let's see. just missed it no sorry folks high speed you see a lot of birds in the sky actually I guess they're uh, kind of like uh, doing their thing you know they're ready to uh, disappear for the winter would they have already done that I don't know I'm no expert on anything as you'll probably gather 
<laughs> Excuse me. That's a noise from the past, isn't it? Blimey. I thought we were past all that. Keep our eye open for the Edinburgh arrival. That'll be it for us today. And um, we will uh, be back, not next week, because I'll be on an aeroplane myself, uh, but uh, hopefully the following week on the Sunday. Still got to work it out. Oh, yeah. Lovely Dalmatian just come past. I tell you, we've had, um, we've had loads of uh, wonderful, wonderful, friendly doggies to uh, say hello to today. What an amazing perk of being here. Morning. Edinburgh is just over north east Bristol now and uh, making its way down to turn onto this uh, landing path. I love the B plane. Yeah, Sheila, I totally agree. It's a really, really cool logo. It's just lots of fun about it. Hello, this way. Hiya. Hiya. Here you go. Look at me, Katinia. There's one landing in about two or three minutes if, um, if, if, you're, if you're here. Yeah. Yeah, he likes them. He'll love this one coming in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, about three minutes, four minutes. Lovely friendly dogs. The bee just um, has pushed back, actually. So we might get to see that take off if it's uh, timely. Then we'll bring that to you as well. I'm going to swing this round now, though, and try and catch the uh, inbound. All eyes to the sky as ever. Up there. you know the area it is just turning doing a complete sort of circle around Canesham now going over Saltford it's Golf Echo Zulu Uniform Charlie it's an A320 CEO and the um, altitude at the moment is 3000 and in terms of what the aircraft is reporting 32 knot winds coming from the uh, east I think that might be relative to the plane though or well, coming from the west to the east, I should say. I never know if that uh, is that relative to the plane or is that the uh, actual direction. We shall see. Mark White, thanks for another great stream. Hope you have a great trip next week. Bye to all in chat. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Much appreciated. Thanks for joining us. It's uh, great having your company. We'll, um, Definitely hope that uh, buzz makes a quick <laughs> makes a buzzes off quickly. There we are. Had to be said, didn't it? Right. Okay. This uh, EasyJet will be any minute now. We should be able to clock that in the distance.
try not try not to include people on the camera unless we can help it. We're just waiting for an Edinburgh inbound to arrive on the horizon, folks. So uh, apologies for the delay. This will be our last arrival today, and then we'll have another. Well, yes, we should be able to catch this buzz disaster. Uh, big disaster, oh my goodness me. What's wrong with my words today? This buzz departure that is coming down now. I'm taxiing down. I don't know why we can't see this. Um, Oh, that, right, we can see it, of course. It's just me who can't see it. Sorry, folks. It's completely not where I was expecting it to be. Yeah, above the trees, above the hill there. Right, sorry, folks. I'm on the internal screen of the camera, and it makes it uh, much more difficult to see than when we have the monitor out, which we put away because of the rain risk. This one in from Edinburgh. So I once heard a train announcement say Edinburgh. Morning. Morning. That's our last arrival of the day uh, in terms of the stream this morning, but a little bonus departure for you as well. It is the amazing buzz. 737 MAX 8 operated, or uh, well, it's a Ryanair airline, I should say. Let me just check where that one is off to. one's going back to Krakow this morning. Oh, it's just waiting, of course, for this, which I did not spot coming in, a little light aircraft. Bit of a bonus for You can see there it's a bit lower than uh, we can capture from here when the planes are very, very small, but that was uh, a dancing little arrival. It's good fun. The buzz is now going to make its way, and we'll catch this departure, and then that'll be it for us, folks. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the action here this morning. It's been absolutely brilliant from this spot.
lovely gentle lift off there for the buzz flight to Krakow. flight that came in as well so that will conclude our stream today live from Bristol Airport hope you've enjoyed the action for the last three hours or so it's been great fun bringing it to you as ever my name's Danny have a look on the channel because um, I will put on there when we're back next it will probably be Sunday week next sorry sorry not Sunday week so not next week but the week after on the Sunday um, because I arrived back on the Saturday but uh, keeping on the stream and uh, I will post details up and of course we'll look forward to uh, seeing you again here at the channel thank you very much to uh, everybody who joined us today I can't uh, swing the camera down by the way just like I normally do do a piece to camera because of uh, the uh, camera that covers on it and I can't see the screen but uh, thanks ever so much for joining us it's been brilliant having your company and um, yeah just keep an eye and welcome to our brand new subscribers some more new subscribers which is always um, joyful to see for those of you who, who, who are loving Bristol action and just watching airport action in general so it's been great to have your company and uh, we'll be back soon take care bye for now